Hey guys, a very good evening to everyone. Welcome to another video. So in this video, we are going to discuss the solution of this question that you can see over here. Now, this question I had posted on the Gate Chemistry FB and Gate Chemistry Instagram handles. Okay, so if you are on Facebook or Instagram, you can go ahead and follow this particular channel that is Gate Chemistry. Over there, I've been posting questions. In case you want me to post questions on YouTube as well, I will post it in the community tab and then I will make a solution video of all the important questions. Some of them are quite simple, some of them a little different and a little tricky. So this was actually one of those questions. Um, now you can see that we have a, uh, we have trans coupling ha happening in alkene and we have um, trans and cis coupling hap happening in cyclopropanes. Now what is the difference? Is there any difference uh, between the coupling values? So if you want to First of all, determine the coupling constant values. We take help of Kaplan's equation. Okay, so uh, what is Kaplan's equation? Basically, it's a um, equation which tells us the relationship between the dihedral angles. That means angles between the two hydrogens that with respect to each other, what angles are they basically aligned at? Okay, the dihedral angle is the angle of the planes of the hydrogen. So, um, if let's say on this side we have the angle. Okay, so we'll start from zero and then we'll go up to 180. So this is the Kaplan's equation. So the equation goes something like this. And this is the J value. That is the coupling constant, which varies from, let's say, 12 hertz and here to 16. So this equation goes like this. Okay. So as you can see, at 180 and at 0 degree values, it is very high. But uh, close to 90, it is very, very low. Okay. Now let's come on to the two systems that I had given. One system was alkene. Okay. Where the hydrogens were. In one case it will be trans and in one case they will be cis okay um, so let me just draw it over here maybe so in one case they are cis and in one case they are trans okay so i'm drawing both the cases now in this case in the case of cis coupling what happens is that the dihedral in the, in the case of trans let's let's talk about trans coupling first the angle is close to 180 degree okay so when we talk about alkenes the trans coupling values is close to um, 18 hertz like it varies from the range 12 to 18 hertz and when we talk about cis couplings, you can see the angle is approximately approximately zero. I would not say exactly, but approximately zero. So the value ranges from six to twelve hertz. Okay, for the trans for the cis coupling. So for the cis coupling, the J value is uh, is six to twelve, and for the trans, it is twelve to eighteen. But what happens then in case of cyclopropane? Why do we ob observe a opposite shift in the case of cyclopropane? Now the uh, reason for that is let me just erase it off. What do we observe is Let's say this is my cyclopropane and the uh, over here, let's say this is my, uh, I've drawn it with a little bent angle. This is my hydrogen and this is, let's say some other molecule. Let's say we have methyl over here. So let's say some X molecule. Similarly, this is the transform, right? So this is hydrogen and this is some trans molecule. So over here, you will see that the approximate angle when the cis coupling is taking place, that means both the hydrogens let's say are above the plane. So when the cis coupling is taking place in cyclopropane ring, you will see that the angle between the hydrogens is approximately zero degree. Okay, so it should be around um, 12 hertz. Okay, the J value should be around 12 hertz. But when we go to trans coupling, what is observed is that the angle between them, this is hydrogen over here now, and let's say this is our X group. So now you observe that this hydrogen and this hydrogen do not have an angle of 180 degree because this cyclopropane molecule is strained. So in the trans coupling, we will, you can see in, in the trans coupling in the alkenes, we were having a value of around 180. Okay, because the dihedral angle was approximately close to, very close to 180. But over here, if you see that the angle is nowhere close to 180. Okay, for 180, it should have been somewhere over here. So you can see that because of the strain in the cyclopropane ring, what is happening is that this value is not even, it's somewhere close to um, 120. Okay, somewhere close to 120, whereas in cis coupling, that value was close to zero. So when you look at the 120 value, 120 value will come somewhere over here. So the coupling value for uh, 120 degrees, uh, when the dihedral angle is 120, is very, very less. And that is the very reason that why in case of cyclopropane, you see that the cis coupling is stronger than trans coupling because for the cis coupling, the dihedral angle is zero. So you observe a value around 12, like you can, maximum value that you can observe is 12. But in case of the trans coupling in cyclopropanes, what happens, the angle is 120 and that is why you obtain a lesser J value. So this question. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you want me to post, the questions on the uh, YouTube uh, platform as well, kindly let me know down in the comment section, right? And in case you have any other doubt, you can let me know in the comment section and try my best to answer, right? So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and also do not forget to share and subscribe to this channel. That will motivate me a lot. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.
Hey guys, so I am a verified educator on an academy and along with that I am also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I am taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you are interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. All right. And in case you are not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. All right. Now let's begin with the video.